In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the different settings that you can adjust for Lockout Mate Plus. Uh, there's a quick reference card that you can store in the sun visor. It tells you about the various settings so you know which one's which. And the way to put the car into the mode to enable you to change the settings is you put the ignition on. So my foot's off the brake so the car didn't start. Get the car into sport mode. And then just push the LED button. And you'll see the instrument cluster now has the taco displaying number one. And the number four is in the center of the display. So on the quick reference card, you'd see number one is the lockup sensitivity. And number four is the setting it's at. To change to the next setting, you just push the LED switch. You'll see the tack has moved to number two and tell you it's the second setting. And the value of that is three. And three is the warm up temperature. Now to change from three, you just simply use the shift lever. If I pull it back one, you see it's gone to number two. Push it forward, it'll go to number three. And that's how you adjust the settings. And there are five different settings you can adjust. And there that's now finished and it's back, the display's back to normal. The first parameter, which is the sensitivity, is separately adjustable for high and low range. So before you enter configuration mode, make sure you set the range for which you want to adjust. So for high range, I'll just put the car into sport mode and you'll see that the current setting is number four. So I'll just exit out of the settings. Now you can do it by pushing the LED through all of them or as an alternative, just put it back into drive or neutral and then it's gone back to normal display. So if I go into low range now, and make sure it's in sport mode and select number one. You can see the settings now number one. So that's the value for low range, which is based on uh, the locked RPM. And when I say locked RPM, um, so for example, I move that up to four, it's about 1500 is when it's uh, the RPM of equivalent when it's locked. So you'll find that it'll actually lock with the RPM a bit higher than that because there's the slip. And then as it locks, it'll be 1500. So if I put that back to one, which is the default, which is about 1200 RPM. It'll exit out of the configuration mode and then go back to 4H. See the four low light has gone off. Go back to sport mode. Now the first setting is the sensitivity. Now the sensitivity, the biggest impact on the sensitivity is um, how easily or how long the and how much load there is before it'll release the torque converter when you say in a gear. So and increase the value, it'll release a bit easier. And if you decrease the value, it'll release with more load. And you tend to adjust that only for your own particular car's um, performance. Um, if you've retuned the engine, you may find you can put it to one setting lower uh, because you've actually got more torque available. The default of four is set up for the stock engine's power. And what you'll find is that, you know, when you're at say 70 kilometers an hour in fifth gear, uh, if you put your foot down with it locked, there's, uh, you know, it's not on boost. Uh, there's not not as much torque, so it'll release it and uh, then accelerate away. And when you're going a bit quicker, it'll lock it up again. So it's just how much pedal you apply before it unlocks the torque converter. That's the sensitivity. The second parameter is the warm-up temperature. Uh, three there represents 30 degrees. You can go to 20 degrees. 30 is about the, the same as the factory default. And it'll go as high as 90 degrees. So you may want to just put it on 90 degrees if um, you actually don't want it to lock up um, unless it's hot. So using it only to protect the transmission from over temperature. Uh, but then you don't get all the other benefits of uh, the lockup kit when you're driving. I'll put it back to 30. There we go. Now the next parameter is the minimum gear for lockup. So you can have it at second gear. Now the standard transmission doesn't lock up in first gear. Um, hydraulically it doesn't do that uh, but if you had a valve body modification um, then they can lock up in first gear you can set the minimum to number one also for whatever reason you don't want to lock up in second gear you can set it to third as the minimum uh, but the default is second gear 
The next parameter uh, is the feature for the excessive slip alert. So there are uh, three options here. Um, zero is off. Uh, you might want to turn that off for whatever reason. Uh, you don't want to ever see it flashing. Um, you can put it on number one, which is it'll only uh, alert you when you're in sport mode of the transmission. Or setting number two is it'll alert you both in drive and sport mode. And the final parameter, number five, um, is whether or not the LED should pulse while it's warming up. So zero is no, and one is yes, on. So the only reason you'd probably ever set that to zero is if, uh, as I mentioned before, if you'd set your warm-up temperature to 90 degrees, um, the LED would be pulsing at you all the time uh, until it was warmed up, until it was extremely hot. So in that case, you might want to just turn off that LED. So those are the settings for Lockit Mate Plus.